let me ask you, ladies and gentle germs, on the call tonight, what do you reckon is the answer to Paul's question? Here's Paul's question again. How much product do you think Paul should buy to get started on Amazon? How much do you reckon? <laughs> I love you guys. Love you guys. All right, good stuff. So the answer to that is, it all bloody depends. It all depends. Now, what the hell does it depend on? Depends on a couple of different things, as the learned folks in the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs have said. It depends on your budget. So how much money have you got? That's going to be a huge factor. Factor number one, in fact, your budget. If you've got the budget to buy a, a reasonable amount of stock, and I'll talk about reasonable and what that means in a second, then that is fantastic. But if you're stony broke, and you've only got enough money to buy 10 items of stock, then that is how much stock you should start with. So your budget is a big influencer on the amount of money you spend on your stock. And of course, the next part of that is, it depends, part two. Part two is, depends what you're selling, because there's a huge difference between selling office chairs, for instance, which are say 50 bucks a pop, and frying pans, which are five bucks a pop. So clearly, you can, if you've got $500 budget, you can only afford 10 chairs, or you can only afford 100 frying pans. So what you're selling is the second factor to consider as well. Third fa factor, as my learned friends in the OE have said, is... Um, it is our preference to run out of stock. So all things being equal, it is a much, much better situation to find yourself in to have not ordered enough stock than to have ordered too much stock. Why? Well, learning that you have um, uh, not got a product that is selling very well and you've only got a hundred of that product and you're in it for a few hundred dollars is much much different to learning that you've not got a product that's selling and you've brought say a thousand or three thousand units of the product and you're in it for multiple thousands of dollars it's a much much different proposition you are at a different level invested in the success or failure of that product. Massive, massive amounts of difference. And I believe it is better, therefore, to under order, to figure out that you've either got a winner or a loser on your hands. And then as soon as you know, because obviously you're either gonna not gonna sell any or you're gonna sell out really quick, as soon as you know, you can make a decision and either order more product and order sufficient for three months worth of stock or you can get out of it, liquidate the stock on something like eBay, something like that, and um, bada boom, bada you're, in, you're into the next thing. It's a much, much different thing. So I always favor running out of stock. I always favor running out of stock. Uh, how can you run PPC with 10 units of stock? Easy, you just run PPC and you've only got 10 units of stock. That's all you do. It, the, there's no difference at all between having 10 units of stock in, um, in FBA and 100, 1,000 even, zero difference. What just means that you run out, that's all. And there's, for me, there's nothing wrong with running out because you get to learn. It's a very cheap way of learning. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like 
Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon, that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business, and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon, and indeed Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.